In the previous video, we discussed about the components of JAXTAT pathway. And now in this video, we will be discussing about the JAXTAT signaling pathway. This pathway is one of the direct routes to transmit information into nucleus for gene expression. In this pathway, the cytokine mediated signal activates the components of this pathway. The cytokine signal can be in the form of interferon, interleukin, and some growth factors. The plasma membrane has got these JAGSTAT components in it. While we see some part of it lies outside the cell, whereas some part is in the intracellular region. The part of complex which is in the extracellular region comprises of receptors, cytokine receptors. And these cytokine receptors are mostly dimers and shows interaction in the form of ligand binding of cytokines. Whereas in the intracellular part, the cytokine receptors are associated with two JAG proteins, Janskinase, as shown in figure. These are the two JAG proteins associated with cytokine receptors. When there is presence of any signal in the form of cytokine, like this as shown in the figure, it's received by receptors. After cytokine binds towards the receptors, its binding alters the arrangement and brings two jacks into close proximity with which these two jack transphosphylate each other. One jack phosphylates the other, thereby increasing the activity of their tyrosine kinase domains. In the next step, we see these phosphorylated jack kinases then phosphorylate tyrosines on the cytokine receptors creating phosphotyrosine docking sites for STAT proteins as shown in the diagram. In the preceding step, the STAT proteins dock to phosphotyrosine sites like this and it's by the SH2 domain of STAT protein which mediates the docking of STAT towards phosphorylated tyrosine. Because this STAT has got different types of domains, if you want to see what STAT is, you can see the previous video. After stats dock on specific phosphotyrosines on the receptor, the JAG phosphorylates them, as shown in the diagram. And then phosphorylation of stat proteins causes the stats to dissociate from receptor. So the phosphorylation detaches stat protein from the phosphotyrosines. After the dissociation, the SH2 domain on the released stat now mediates its binding to phosphotyrosine on another stat molecule forming either a stat homodimer if stat proteins are same or heterodimer if stat proteins are different so finally we have stat dimer now and this dimer translocates to the nucleus where by the help of dna binding domain of stat protein attaches itself to the dna and initiates the transcription and finally we have the gene expression so this is how the JAG-STAT pathway works in with the help of cytokine mediated signals. If you want to see the detailed structure of Janus kinase and STAT protein, you can watch my previous video. Thanks for watching this video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to this channel. Thanks.